Welcome back to part 4. In this part we're going to set up HTML for the category slash shop page and also the product detail page. So we can begin with the category page. So inside the core app I want this to be located here since this is kind of a generic view. Now we can create a new view by saying def shop request and then here I want to get all of the products from the database like that. And then you can make a copy of this. And instead of saying front page here, we say shop.html. Then we can make a copy of the front page.html. Just copy this, create a new file, and save it as shop.html. And this should be in the same folder as front page.html and base.html. I don't want the header to be here, so I can remove it before I continue and test that this is working. And then inside the Nordic Homes slash URLs.py, I can import it here, shop, and also make a copy of this path and say shop slash. The view we are going to use is shop, and the name of this should also be shop. So then we can change the base.html to point to this page. So when we click shop, open the menu, this link here, I want to uh, send us to that page. So to do that we need to use a Django tag called URL and then the name we want to use here is shop which points to the name we passed in here. So we can just shop and then Django will automatically figure out the path to this page. So if we go back now and refresh I should be able to click this and then I was sent to the shop page. Perfect. And then I want to make a change here because I want to have a sidebar here with search and also a list of the categories. So go back to the editor and find shop.html and then to make it possible to have a column next to the products column then we want to add flex here. So this is a flex container and flex wrap so it can be two columns on mobile as well and items start so everyone is located on the top of this element the padding can just be like this and then in here I create a new div class filters and then add this v full so on mobile this fills out the whole screen but on larger screen I only wanted to fill out one fourth of the screen. So LG as a media query. We sorry W one slash four sidebar. And then the products should be a little bit different. This should be still be a flex container, but I want to set this be W full on mobile devices, but on LG and up I want this to say w1 slash 4 sorry 3 slash 4 so then I can save this and just go back and see if it works yes now we have the sidebar here and then the products there so then I want to add a search field at the top of the sidebar so we can go back to that so first here I want to add a title with margin bottom 3 set the text to be extra large and set the text to be uppercase and then here a form and a div class flex because I want to make it possible to have the input field right next to the input button so then I add the input type text set the padding to be 4 above and on the sides the background to be grey 100 and remove the border so if you save now go back and refresh you'll see that now we have it here and then I just want to add a simple search button right here. And the button can be below here. So this is also the same padding as this. The background is the same and no border. And then I just want to go to heroicons.com to get the search icon. Search. And then copy this SVG. Then just paste it in there. So if we save this now, refresh. You now see that the search button is there. Perfect. And then below this form I want to list the categories so you can 
begin by adding the title. So make a copy of this. Replace the content with categories. And also want some spacing above this up to the form. So empty six. And we can refresh. And now we have the new title there. Nice. And then below here, I want to add a list of links. So UL class space Y2. So we have some spacings between the links. LI A HRF. This can just be empty for now. Class text purple 500. And it's only purple when this is active. And since we are on the front page of the shop now, the all categories should be active. So you can make a copy of this. Rename this to gray 500. For example, say sofa. We're going to make this dynamic later. Beds. And tables. So we can look what this is yes so now we have the categories here and all categories is also active nice so the last thing i want to fix here on this page now is the spacing issues because this should be on the same height as this so first after we reset the width of this we can say minus mt4 so it's pulled up you can see if that works it's a little bit better but we also need to do more here because the padding on this should be PY6 and PX6 is correct. So if I now save, refresh, it's a little bit better. Above here we will add an image later so then they will align. So now we have the category page and I can go to the to-do list and set this to done. And then I want to make it possible to click a product go to go to the detail page. So inside the product we need to create a new view here. Def product pass in the request. We will make this dynamic later, but we don't have to do that just for testing. And then here we can say return render request and product slash product dot html. So then I can import this into the urls.py file. From product.views import product, make a copy of this, replace, replace, and replace, and we will make this dynamic and also clean up later in this series. And then we need to create a template. So in product, we create a new template, templates folder, which is the same as we have in this here. And then in the templates folder, a new folder called product and a file called product.html, which is the one we point to in the views.py file. So here we can make a new copy of the contents of the front page.html. Just so we don't have to rewrite everything. Paste it. And then we can remove this. And we can also remove the header like that. So we want this to have max width of 6XL, the MX to be auto, and we want this to be flex and flex wrap. Because here we want the image next to the content. And the PY can be set to PY6, so we have extra spacing here. And then on the left side, I want this to be a big image. So so div class filters or rename this to images and then this should be full on mobile devices but on smaller devices or sorry on larger devices it fills out three-fifths of the whole screen and then we have some spacing below it and in here i want the image we haven't uploaded this yet but we'll come back to this later in the series but we can at least go and check that everything is working for now by replacing the URL with product. Okay, it doesn't exist. Okay, now it was working. I think I just created it in the templates folder instead of inside the product folder. 
Great, so now we have the images on the left side and on the right side I want the product information. So we create a new div and rename this to information. Set the full width on the mobile devices and on large devices two-fifth of the width of the screen. And also add some padding when we are on the large device. And first here I want the product name. And this can be two times XL. And then below here the price. And this can have some space above or sorry below the title. And then the grey 400 color so it doesn't stick out that much. And then below here I want the description of the product. So this is just a lorem ipsum text. Set this margin top 6 and grey 700 so it's a little bit lighter than the price. And then below here I want the button for adding this to the product. No, sorry, adding this to the bag. So A, HRF, class, margin top 6, inline block. So this margin actually works. Add some spacings on the sides and above and below. The corners should be set to rounded XL. Then the background color to be 500. Text white and when you hover it, it becomes a little bit darker. We can save this now, refresh, and now you can see it here. So when you have the mouse over, it comes a little bit darker. Perfect. So this is the product page, and we now have the shop page, and everything there works as well. So now I can go to the to-do list and set this task to done. And that was it for this part. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.